pitch black outside. Good morning, y'all. I showed y'all the outside because you see it's 5 o'clock, but I want you to know it's 5 a.m. in the morning. And I'm studying all my um, cardiac arrest, assistedly PEA learning station, adult cardiac arrest rhythms for a mega code I got to take today for my ACLS. And I have to go way down to Miami and Kindle. And I'm coming up there from Palm Beach County. Well, I'm gonna say, I gotta go with me, it's my bad. I gotta go way to Kendall, Miami, Kendall. An hour plus away from my house to take a mega cold because I couldn't take the one near me. Because I don't really rock with the people that's there. I'm trying to see, see how this vibe is. But I'm doing a mega cold, which consists of understanding what rhythm it is, saying what you gotta do. You see the rhythm, you see if it's shockable. If it's shockable, you shock. You tell somebody, insert the IV access. You wait two minutes, you shock again. You see the rhythm. Oh, yeah. You can see CPR, rhythm check, the rhythm is shockable. You shock it, tell them go back to CPR, then administer whatever drug that you need to be administered, depending on the rhythm. It can be um, epinephrine, epi, amiodarone, atropine. Bro, I'm a respiratory therapist. Like, I'm never going to do this, but they got me really studying for it, man. So that's where we at with it. Y'all, please wish me luck. We riding way down to Miami. I'm bringing y'all with me. I know y'all probably like, Randy, what's been up with this? Let me, let me clean the camera. There we go. I know y'all probably been like, man, Randy, what's up with the videos? When you seeing ya? Man, I'm going to get it right. But right now, it's just like my head is like, it's so much on my plate, bro. For real, like fatherhood. That kind of thing, I really want to be around for my youngin, because this is the time we got to, like, mold them and shape them. You feel me? It's like clay. It's like when you mold them clay, in the beginning, it's easy to, like, form and mold and get it how you want it. But as it gets older, as time passes, it's going to get, like, harder and harder because it's drying up. So I'm really focusing on that 100%. I'm really not even, like, I'm turning out OT. I'm not really working as much. So I really want to be pressing at home. And, bro, I went out there. I was... My homeboy called me and was like, man, uh, the, one of my per diem jobs that I have, they just did a market adjustment and they paid everybody that was like um, part-time or full-time, like $5 plus. And they just gave them like $3 plus before that, so that's $8. And my dog like, hey man, yeah, you may want to think about just coming on part-time. But I'm like, man, I can't, Work. I can't work in that place like bro, twice a week. But I like I can't do it. Some people can't. Like I ain't gonna lie. I I'm not finna do it. You feel me? And it's like, man, if we talking about money, bro, for two years straight, for a year and a half straight, I didn't make less than on average thirty five hundred a week for a year and a half. A week. Like, like, come on, bro. How much? Come on, dog. Like, we still just chasing paper? We got to figure out something else, man. Now it's time to put that position, that money in positions for, to make that money attract more money, bro. We, I just can't keep doing the same thing, but I salute it. That is more money, but it got to be a different way. I ain't going to say, I, don't, I ain't going to say better way because, like, I'm better, like, but it got to be a different way. And that's just where I'm at with it, man, you know. You got to believe in it, dog. Faith, not by sight. I got a nice little catalog. I'm seeing passive income. Once you start seeing passive income, you see it's another way to make this fatty. I know how this is going to work for it. I know how to get it passively. You just sitting back and I'm going to just come in. Ain't nothing like that. I'm going to focus on this. Because I can go do that. But I'm going to focus on this. But back to this topic. I'm going to study for this, man. Okay, let me. I'm going to show you how I'm studying for this. Here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Well, this kind of the same thing. But hold on. I'm going to show you. All right, so... I'm starting, it's like, okay, you start CPR, you give oxygen, you attack, you attach the monitor and defibrillator. Okay, cool. Then it's gonna be like, is the rhythm shockable? If it's yes, 
it's gonna be either VFib or VFib or posters VTAC. Yeah. See, that's if it's shockable. If it's asystole and PE, you don't shock asystole and PE. All you do for this one is just CPR and epi. You get CPR and you get epi. CPR, IV access, epi every three to five minutes. Shockable rhythm. If it's a yes, you'll go back to, we, we go, you'll go to this side. But if it's a no, you just do CPR again, two minutes. Then you check rhythm. If it's a no again, that's CPR. And now you're pushing epi again. You have you have to push you have to push epi because you 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 can keep giving epi like I said every three to five minutes so that'll be two minutes then it'll be time check a rhythm it'll be time for every three minutes it'll be time for something else but now if you over here what a rhythm is shockable you're gonna shock bingo now as soon as you get done shocking you gotta like tell the people that's helping you to make a code okay perform CPR and get me an IV access bam okay cool. Now you're gonna do another pull, another rhythm check. You feel me? Two minutes pass. That's another rhythm check. All right. Is this shock? Is this is this rhythm shockable? We're gonna say yes. Okay. Now once you deliver these shocks, you're doing it at like certain jewels, like 120 through 20 to 120 through 200 jewels. And you gotta know how to use the, the, the defibrillator. Stuff I never do, but I gotta know it for here, man. And like, this is like my second time doing it, and I passed the PALS. PALS seemed to be a lot harder than this one. So I, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable after studying for like one day. I'm not gonna say I studied for one day. So if it's shock rhythm, you're gonna shock. You gotta go straight back to CPR. But now you're gonna deliver, um, you're gonna give epinephrine one milligram every three to five minutes. Yeah, and you consider advanced airway. Okay, cool. We're gonna do another rhythm check. Is it shockable? We're gonna say yes. If it's shockable, we're gonna deliver the shock. Now it's at like 200 joules, and then we're gonna go back to CPR. But this time, the next medication that you're gonna give is um, amiodarone, 300 milligram bolus for the first dose, and 150 milligrams for the second dose. Bingo. So when you give amiodarone, you gotta go to how you supposed to give amiodarone. Bingo. This is drug therapy. Amiodarone, first dose is 200 milligrams, second dose is 150 milligrams. Now, like I'm saying, I gotta know all this, how to do this, and you in front of like the whole, you in front of an instructor in the whole class looking at you, bro. And this ain't your ex, this ain't to feel expertise. This is like some um, EMT paramedic stuff, bro. I'm never, the doctor, I'm never gonna be in this hospital doing this. So why I gotta know it to a T like this, I don't know. But when it kind of get my fatty, Whatever they want me to learn, I'm gonna learn, bro. And that's where I'm at with it. Let me show y'all one more. Okay, let me show y'all one more. This one, because this one here is kind of hard. Well, for me, I ain't gonna lie to you. My bad, I just kind of, like I said, it's five in the morning, so I just got cold water out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I just got a fresh cut, too. I'm trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get right, but I can't. I, I'm not just fuck up. So you gotta know if it's adult tachycardia. And then it's like it's certain type of cardiac. If it's if it's the uh, if the if the beats per minute is above one fifty, it's supraventricular tachycardia. And for that, you have to do like a cardiovert. You got you can cardiovert the patients. See, so access clinical condition heart rate typically is greater than one fifty. So that means it's treat underlying causes. That'd be the first thing you try to do. Okay, maintain patient airway. It says breathing if necessary, oxygen, cardiac monitor the rhythm, monitor blood pressure, and oximeter. But if you do that and don't nothing change, if it if it's persistent, it's still the same, ain't nothing change. Okay, cool. Tachycardic rhythm, what's the causes? It could be hypotension. Okay, so. I gotta slow my roll with this one here. So I gotta identify and I gotta treat this stuff here. Okay, it's still persistent. I gotta try to guess if it's if it's hypertension, acute altered mental status, signs of shock. Like once I lift this up, it gets lighter, but I don't wanna see. Now y'all can't tell. But it gets lighter though. And then it's like acute heart failure. If that's the issue, it's hypertension, acute altered mental status, you're gonna do synchronized cardiovert. You feel me? Synchronized cardiovert. Like, how do you do that? I'm not 100% sure, but they're going to show me everything. And depending on what it is, like, they're not going to have you draw out, like, narrow, regular, 
wide, regular, irregular, and you pick the jewels. You just say, I'm cardio burden at 150, 120 jewels. They'll, they'll make that somewhat doable for you. Okay, so now that's persistent. And you're not synchronized cardio burden, which I don't know why you wouldn't. You're gonna always do that. If it's no, if it's no, you're just gonna keep like, you're gonna try to do vagal, you gotta know vagal maneuvers. You gotta know, um, and then, You'll go to synchronized cardio vert. Then from there, IV access. And then you'll do adenosine. When you give adenosine, you give it, they want to know like the dosage is like, first you give six milligram rapid flush, the first dose. Then the second dose is six milligrams rapid flush. See like, and you got to know, bro. You got to know this stuff, man. Like they really want to, man, you got to know this stuff, bro. Let me see. Yeah, I'm a book. Cause this is how they gonna be. This gonna be their checklist that they are going off of. This, this is why I got all this stuff. I just printed everything out from here. Tachycardia, PEA, V shift. Tachycardia, V shift. I'm trying to show y'all. Man, y'all deal with me. Y'all, it's so crazy. Okay. So I'm going tachycardia. I'm going in the V-fib, I'm going to PEA. So let's say you start off like this here. So first things first, you gotta like, ensure adequate CPR, assign team member roles, ensure that team members perform well. Tachycardia management, you gotta give them oxygen, monitor, you gotta put the leads in the proper position. If it, you gotta recognize that it's unstable tachycardia, so that's a superventricular. That's over 150 beats per minute. Recognize symptoms due to like tachycardia, which is, could be the symptoms. Hypertension, acute ulcerative mental status, shock, all that kind of stuff. Perform immediate synchronized cardioversion. Now, once you do that and they go to V-Fib, now you gotta recognize V-Fib. Clear us before analyzing shock, immediate CPR after the shock, appropriate airway management, the drugs you're supposed to give, bro. Man, this shit crazy. Bro, this shit crazy. <laughs> hey, this shit crazy, man. Like I said, I really just started studying, dog. But as long as you know like what to do when you see certain rhythms, regardless of what rhythm they go to, you're gonna be good. So you know if you see um V fib or posters V tac, that's epi, every that's epi and then that's um amiodarone. That's epi and that's amiodarone. Now if it's tachycardia, you gotta know that like that's adenosine, because it's tac, it's tac, 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 and you adding on to it. That's how I remember, that's how I remember adenosine. Then if it's bradycardia, you gotta do atropine. Like, so if it's bradycardia is going too slow, you gotta get your act right. So that's atropine, and that's at 0 0.5 milligrams. You can give that up to three milligrams. So you can get that six times. So you get 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. <sighs> I hope I ain't got nobody who like, um. It's like looking for me to know this like I'm a paramedic, but understand I'm, I am a respiratory therapist and this is something that I'm not my expertise and I would never do in real life. And before you even get to that mega code, you gotta pass a 50 question test. But I ain't worried about the 50 question test because I'm studying for that, all that stuff is involved in here. But I'm gonna catch up with y'all back on the rod. Like I said, it's an hour from my crib. I'm going there from one o'clock to five o'clock. So when you go down to Miami, at one o'clock it's gonna be smooth. But coming back up at five o'clock during rush hour, ain't no way in hell. So what I'm gonna do is pack me some extra clothes, go to this seminar, pass the situation, get me some gym clothes, hit the gym while I'm down there, and then after I get leave the gym, I'm gonna come on back up. Cause leaving Miami during rush hour, bro, you you just setting yourself up for, for a huge traffic jam and just sitting there in traffic. I'm not doing that, bro. So I'm going to the local gym. I'm gonna get these right. Cause y'all know I've been I've been really getting I'm getting sick with it for real, but I'm getting stupid with it. And that's what I'm going to do. So, Y'all wish me luck through them videos, man. Keep me in your prayers as possible. You feel me? We got a, we got a connection. Just keep me in them prayers, man. And I'm going to catch up with y'all later. Now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I got to wake my son up soon and get him ready. So, this is what it's about, though, man. You, you put that work in. You put that grind in. So when you get that paper, can't nobody tell you nothing. Because when nobody telling you nothing while you were studying. You know, do you hear anything? Do you hear anybody telling me anything? It's quiet, right? That's how I want to be when I'm spending that money. Shh, that's it. Oh, and that's if it's an age. Do you want to help me study?
I just drove literally, bro, a million miles away from home. I'm here. I think I'm at the right spot, bro. Hopefully I am. I'm finna go ahead and do this four hour class. And when it comes to my studying, I was gonna continue to like study, but it's like, I put so much in my head. If I go over that stuff anymore, it's just gonna like mess me up. You know, like, it's not good to like study like five minutes before you go in for a test because the stuff you just looked at gonna be fresh in your head. So everything you went over should be like in there, sealed, then you should be good. And what I'm saying is, it's not gonna be like, oh, this is just gonna be tachycardia or SVT, and then you're gonna go from SVT to RCOS, return of cardio, return of normal circulation, something like that. It's gonna go like, it's gonna go on um, like bradycardia to postless VTAC to, to PEA, then to normal. So, know what you know what to do for VTAC, VFib, SVT, PEA, assistedly, you good. I, for the most part, bro, I, I think I know it, man. I know it enough to pass. Now, I don't know it enough to be no paramedic, no EMT, but I believe I know this stuff enough to pass, man. So I hope it's right over here. Cause I'm in the, bro, I'm down there at the Everglades. I'm in South, South Miami, almost the damn Everglades. I ain't never been in this part of Miami, never in my life. I ain't nowhere near the arena, I ain't nowhere near the stadium. I'm near the damn Everglades. Florida Everglades, yes. So I'm finna go in here and I want my respiratory therapy like jacket so they can know. I'm a respiratory therapist. I ain't no nurse. At least the nurses, they at least will get to push the drugs. I'm a respiratory therapist. I'm just going to be the airway. I'm just going to be the airway. I think at this point, I think y'all get it, bro. I think y'all get it. I'm doing, I'm doing something I never do in my life. But that's what they want me to do. Only in America. I finished up my um, ACLS class. I'm still out here in Miami right now, though, because, you know, like I said, I live an hour from here. It'll be two hours now because the traffic is so backed up. It's rush hour from 1 to 5. 5 o'clock is the rush hour time. So I'm going to just chill in Miami. I'm at LA Fitness right now. So I'm going to hit the gym again. Even though I did already hit the gym this morning. So I'm gonna do a two a day. You know, I'm getting ripped up, I'm getting right. So I gotta stay fine and trim, that's mandatory. And for the ACLS class, bro, it all went smooth. Like, first things first, they already gave you the slip that they was gonna test you on. They don't do that at the one near where I live at. So that's kind of made it. I already know what I gotta study for, what I gotta practice for. And it was either tachycardia or bradycardia. 
it's like psychocardia, SVT, and you got to synchronize and all this stuff. And they told you the exact stuff, what you had to do, how you had to do it. And the dude who was like teaching us how to do it, he gave us like a golden standard of like what to write down. It was like S S E S A. You're going to shock, shock. E is for epi. Shock again is the, the other S. And the A is for the amiodarone. And then after that, you, it's going to go into PEA. So you write down PEA. You're going to do perfusion. That's CPR. You're going to do another epi. That's the E. And you're going to analyze like H's and T's, like hyperventilation, hypoventilation, hypo hypotension. How can you fix this up? Yada, yada. Um, tension pneumothorax, all your H's and T's. Then once you get a heart rate back with a pulse, now you go to A, B, C, D, E. A and B is airway and breathing. C is like circulation. So you want a blood pressure. You want a um, blood pressure. D is like um, disability. Like what's what's not working? Can you hear me? Can you? So blah. they made that jump super easy. So it was no problem to pass. So I got to go do that two years from now. So I got my CLS for two years. I got pals coming up next year. But for now, bro, I'm good. And I, and I was like, I was like, dang, I'm good. Now I just got to go pass the, um, you, you still got to take a 50 question test. The lady was like, oh, no, you don't have to pass that since you already passed the mega code, but just don't go on Christmas tree. So I'm like, all right, I only missed five questions on that. So I got, I got a 90 on that. I got a 90, bro. Like, <laughs> and I'm over here nervous, like, damn, this I don't know, but I'm a therapist, bro. And when it came to my mega code situation, I did my mega code. Only thing I messed up on is that when the patient went assistally, I ain't had no rhythm, no heart rate, just a flat line. I didn't double check for a post. Anytime a, pulse, a rate changes, you got to check. Anytime a rhythm changes, you got to check that post. So if you go from SVT to sinus bradyarrhythmia, SVT from asystole, you got to check that post to make sure. I just went asystole, CPR, epinephrine. But she's like, you got to check in case the leaks may be off. And the other thing is, I had like, it was a mega course. It was like, everybody had an assignment. I was the leader. Somebody had to like insert IV. Somebody going to push the med. Somebody going to be the airway. Somebody going to be ambu bagging. When I said clear before I defibrillate, I got to make sure that the lady took the damn ambu mag off the patient's face. She left it on there while, while I pressed the synchronous, while I pressed the shock button. She's like, yeah, Randy, you got to make sure she doesn't do that. I'm like, but I told her to be the airway. She's like, yeah, but you in charge. You got to like make sure everything is clear. So she kind of messed me up though. But I ain't gonna lie, the group that I was with, everybody was like, if you made it, if you was like forgetting to say, resume high quality CPR, we're like, we'll, we'll like, we'll, we'll like need you, like, hey man, CPR, CPR. So we'll, we'll help each other out on that. And it was real cool, but I'm just, I'm just happy I passed, man. Like, I ain't gotta worry about this now for two more years now. And now I kept all the paper that dude gave me, the whole little cheat sheet, so I'm just go by that next time. So everything should be cool. Now, like, I'm finna get, I'm finna get a nice little workout in, man. I'm gonna try to. It's like 5:30 now. It's like 5:15, 5:30. I'm gonna try to leave and head home 6:45, 7, cause that's when traffic should like die down. But right now, everybody getting off work, and you in Miami trying to go back up north, bro. It's over. Don't even, bro. Cause when I be coming south and they going north, it be like gridlock. Nobody's moving. You ain't finna get me in this. So I'm finna go in here. I'm finna get stupid. I'm finna hit these. I'ma have my restaurant therapy shirt. Say, hey, man, come on. I'ma rep my brand. You know, hey. The one's over here. He's over here. Big money bound. You know, that's that's what I'm rocking. Let me y'all see my fresh cut. I'm looking fresh. I got some grays, man. Hey, I want I want to see my whole head turn gray. Cause I know people. I lost people that had full black hair, perfect lineups. You feel me? No aging marks. No bags. Like I'm trying to see all that go down to me, so I know I lived a long life, and that's where I'm at with it. And I just left um. I had once a Bahama breeze after I left out of the ACLS class. Hey, I'm doing, I'm doing my videos. Everybody looking at me crazy. But for the support, I do, I do what I gotta do. So I left out of the ACLS class. I went to Bahama breeze. Y'all see, I'm eating a little bit more healthy. So I got the chicken breast with the um, broccoli and the uh, sweet potatoes. Cause I'm really like watching, like I'm being aware of the calories that I intake. And I don't mind eating what I want to eat. But if I'm gonna eat something that's like got calories in it, a lot of calories, I want it to be like worth it, like healthy. I don't wanna eat like a whole bunch of them key lime pie that got over like 2,000 calories in like two slices and I ain't really I, ain't, I don't really feel full and I got no, no nutrition in me so I gotta, I gotta go eat again and take on more calories for no reason I should just eat something that was like filling from the beginning so once you really start to like I'm really just learning about my calorie intake I ain't gonna lie I've been just eating crazy trying to you feel me get gain weight but now I got it figured out I got it locked in and I'm gonna really I'm gonna really I'm already shredded up I can't really I'm gonna get shredded up I'm gonna get like more shreds so and my body fat gonna go down but I really got a whole thing figured out but yeah, now, so I'm at LA Fitness right here. I'm gonna go in here and check it out, man. Get my thing in. Get my workout in. I wanna say thing in, cause I signed a little pause. Pause. Appreciate it, man. Alright, I'm gonna holler at y'all. This shit is looking very lit. It's lit in here.